In this video, I'm going to show you how to create your own reaction videos. So let's get into it. So if you've been subscribed to this channel for a while, then you might have noticed that this isn't the first time that I've made a reaction video tutorial video. I've actually made one before, but the problem is the instructions weren't exactly very clear looking back. So I'm revisiting this concept and I'm just gonna thoroughly explain everything in this video so that there are no questions left unanswered. So to begin with, you first want to find a music video or a video of your choice that you're going to react to. Now, once you've found the video that you're going to react to, the first step of the process is to download the video or screen capture the video. Now you can simply just download the video using some sort of YouTube converter, but the problem is this doesn't give you much precision and much flexibility when it comes to the editing stage. If you wanted to react to a specific point, then you couldn't just pause the video, you'd have to make a cut in the edit and that's just a bit long and a bit complicated. So rather than downloading the video, we're going to screen capture and that means you're gonna be able to pause and interact with the video and make your commentary as the video is going on. So in order to do this, the best way if you're on a desktop is to use QuickTime Player. So if you're on Mac, you're just gonna go ahead and search for QuickTime Player. That should load up this bar up here. You wanna go File, new screen recording, and then you're gonna go full screen if you want to screen record the full screen, or you're gonna make a selection, and you can select just the video that you're reacting to, you can select a different part of the screen, it's completely up to you, but you can make the selection on where you want to record. Alternatively, if you're on your phone, then you want to go ahead and use some sort of screen capture app. So I know Apple's iPhone has their own screen recorder, so if you're on iPhone, just go ahead, swipe up and use the screen recording feature, or if you're an Android or anything else, just go ahead and find the screen recorder that works for your device and record the screen of the video that you're watching. So now that we're recording the screen, we now need to record yourself. So you want to set a camera up, you want to set a microphone up, put the camera on a tripod, make sure the image is composed correctly, make sure you're in the frame, make sure your head's not out of the shot, make sure everything is nice and clear. And now that these two are rolling, you just want to go ahead and start reacting to the video. So play the video, make your commentary, react to the video. When you pause the video, you can talk to the camera, do everything that you need to do. And then as soon as you finish your reaction, just stop the camera, stop the screen recorder, and we're gonna throw these both into Premiere Pro. So now that we're in your editing software, and I'm using Adobe Premiere Pro in this example, but the techniques are very similar for pretty much every other video editing software that exists. So as long as you can have at least two video tracks on your timeline, then the techniques are basically the same in Premiere as they are elsewhere. So once you're in your video editor of choice, you just want to drag your first video onto your timeline. That's gonna be your capture. That's gonna be the footage of you. Now, I haven't recorded any screen capture footage, so I'm just taking random video clips to show you this example. So let's say this is the reaction footage and then this is the screen recording. Now, before we carry on, we first need to sync up the footage. So you want to sync up the screen recorder and you want to sync up your reaction footage to make sure that they are perfectly in sync. And then once you've done that, you want to go ahead and select your screen recorded footage. So that is the video, that's the screen recording. We're gonna go up to motion and then we've got scale and position here. You want to decrease the scale. So we're gonna decrease this down to here you can select whatever number works best for yourself, but I'm gonna select this at 40, and then we're gonna move the position over to the left. We'll drop this down into the corner, and when we play this back, it's going to play back these two videos at the same time. So when you've got your screen recording footage and you've got your reaction footage, the two are gonna be on the screen at the same time. Now, if you wanted to add a border around the video, then you can do that by adding a black video. So we're gonna shift this video, that's the screen recording video, up onto video layer three. We'll go to new item, black video. We'll press okay on this. We'll drag the black video onto video layer two. And of course you wanna make sure that you extend the duration of this over to the left and to the right. And then we could just move the position of this over to the left. Make sure we've got a nice border over here. Then we can move it down. And there you go, you've got a really nice border around your screen recording footage. 
This means there's gonna be a nice bit of separation between these two different layers. Of course though, if you wanted to change the color of this to match the branding of your YouTube channel or wherever this footage is going, we're gonna go into effects, search for tint, T-I-N-T. -T. We'll drop that on to the black video. We'll select matte black two, select the black box and select a color of your choice. And that's gonna change that black border into a different color. So there you go. Reaction videos are actually quite simple. It's just a case of syncing two video assets together, moving the scale and the position of the screen recording footage down into one of the corners. And there you go. You've got yourself a really awesome reaction video. So thank you for watching this video. I really do hope you found this helpful. And if you did, then please do consider subscribing and I will see you on the next video. See you there.